Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mario Doctor here with another review. Today is going to be a little bit different of a test than we normally perform here on this channel. I was requested by one of my viewers to test the vast in hardened mode. It was not specified if they wanted to test in the free version or in their premium suite, but for the sake of this review, I'm going to assume that they were talking about the free version. Now, typically, as most of you know, I do not fulfill product tests that involve customizing the security settings, as I feel it's just better to keep things, number one, on default settings, because the majority of the people are using that product on default settings. And also, if I start testing products with a bunch of different configurations, I'll have an endless number of videos to perform and there's just so many different products to test there's no way that could be feasible especially with a new product version coming out basically every year it's kinda hard to test products again and again and again with different settings when you have only so much time to do so but I figured because Avast has a big enough user base and this feature is pretty well known and I believe quite a few people are using this setting I decided to make an exception to this and test Avast in hardened mode today this is the only setting that we are going to be changing for this product. And some of you may be wondering what hardened mode is at this point. Basically what hardened mode is, it's when inexperienced users can lock down the security of their computer or it is at least intended for that specific purpose. And if hardened mode is enabled, as we can see, users can select between the aggressive mode which will automatically block any items that have not been whitelisted in a vast file reputation database. And there's also a moderate mode, which would allow files with a low reputation in a vast file reputation database. So maybe files that aren't used that much, moderate mode will give a files a greater chance of being able to get onto the computer it will basically send unknown files to deep screen which is another feature in Avast to further scan and analyze the file and Avast will block the files that are determined to be suspicious through this analysis however if Horn mode was not enabled at all if deep screen did not find any malicious code in the file it would let it through by default so default action would be to allow the file if Avast cannot find any malware in it. However, with Horn mode moderate setup, it will block that. So both settings will enhance the protection of Avast. However, for the sake of this review, I figured that if we're going to be making customized settings, we probably should just go with the one that will please the most people so we are going to set it at aggressive mode so the maximum protection we can get from the hardened mode so it should basically block any files that have asked determined to be safe so pretty much locking down the computer to unknown files if you want to look at it like that I'm going to click OK and we're just going to go back one more time everything is good Again, that is the only setting that we are changing in this product. I have already taken the liberty of scanning my malware pack, removing all the files that Advanced has already recognized. So we have exactly 15 files right here. These are all the files that after I already ran a scan with Advanced were not removed. And the files that Advanced, when it was finished scanning, I said to delete all of them. So basically, it doesn't know anything about any of these 15 files. And what we are going to do now is we're going to run them and we will see what happens. Alright, a vast hard mode prevented a program from starting on your computer. If you are sure you want to run the program, please add an exclusion to the link below and the program then will be started. And we could add an exclusion right here. And this goes back to what we were saying. It's, this program is obviously not in a vast whitelist and we can add an exclusion if we chose to do so. But I believe most users, if they are running an unknown program, probably would just click close and wouldn't go through the whole process of clicking to add an exclusion. So, and the next one was blocked by a vast Harden mode. Appears that one was also 
plot. That one was also a blot. Like I said, it's pretty much default deny here, so that one was also a blot. None of these are in a vast whitelist, so as a result, they should all be blot. Alright, let's run the next one. Let's run the next one. Alright, a vast uh, file system shield actually blocked that thread. Uh, this is, they recommend running a boot time scan. We'll run a boot time scan before we run the scan to the other scanners, but fast hard mode blocked that thread as well. Hard mode blocked that thread. That one was blocked. Well, I do not see that one loading into memory, and then this last one was blocked by a vast hardened mode. So actually, rather than running a quick scan of a vast, I will just run a boot time scan. So I'm going to schedule a boot time scan with a vast. So we are going to start restart the computer launch the boot time scan, see if it finds anything. Now I should know that I haven't run a scan with CCleaner yet, so it might pick up on a couple of temp files. And then once that's all done, I'll delete the malware pack, or run a scan with Malwarebytes Team Mint Pro, maybe Norton Power Racer, Eat Sets Online Scanner, stuff like that. And once all that is done, I will be back. Hello everybody, I just wanted to show what a vast boot time scan looks like. I believe it's changed a little bit over the years, but this is pretty much it. I've never shown it in any of these videos before, so I figured might as well throw it into this one. So we can see it's scanning right now the C drive. And now once the scan is done and all the other scans with my other scanners are complete, I will be back. Hello everybody, I'm back from the boot time scan. Uh, going into the log files, we can see that no infected files were found. We can see there are no items in their quarantine. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove malware pack, delete that, and I'm going to run some scans. And once all that is done, I will be back. Hello, everybody. I'm back. Malwarebytes found one potential wanted registry key. Not too concerned about that. I think that might have already been on the computer. And then with MCSoft's emergency kit, we have this Softonic uh, registry key entry. First, I can't scroll it over at the moment, but just so this Softonic registry key. And then we have this another one right here. I think that I don't believe that was already on the computer. Hitman Pro, <laughs> ignore that one. And it's just Softonic, so no big deal. And ESA Online Scanner did not find any threats. So I think Avast Free in aggressive hardened mode did a very good job in today's review. You have to keep in mind that all the threats that we ran were not detected when we ran a scan on the pack of the malware. So basically they were all unrecognized files and none of them were allowed to get through Avast through the aggressive mode. So this review shows that aggressive mode did live up to its claim. Now, on the flip side, I also noticed that when I ran the scans, none of those programs were being blocked, like Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro and MCSolved Emergency Kit. So that's also very important because what, what good is a program that will just block everything? So their whitelist definitely includes several programs. I mean, also I ran with CCleaner, didn't get any alerts, so no programs were acting unusual on this computer. So that is very good. So overall, I think 
horn mode did a pretty good job in today's review. So I think that'll be about it for this review. Thank you as you wish, and I will talk to you later. Bye.